one. Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing some more fun for your drumming ideas. I'm not gonna lie, this week's drum lesson is quite hard. In fact, that's all I've got to say about it. So uh, if you like what you saw in the intro and you wanna give this one a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. Okay, so a slightly more challenging lesson this week. We've got this linear groove, or at least it's kind of linear. Every single note's on its own, apart from beat one. The very first note we play, which is a bass drum and a hi-hat together, that's not. But then after that, you're just playing one note at a time. And a lot of the time we'll be playing these sort of 30 second note double strokes. So especially on beat one itself, um, we've got a bass drum and a hi-hat for the very first note. For E and an uh, we've got right, right, left, left, kick, kick. All the 30 second notes. This is probably the hardest part, so I thought we'd learn that bit first. Then we'll add on beat two. Again, that's got some 30 second notes, but single strokes. Beat three and four we'll learn together. We're gonna do a slight variation, because we're gonna sort of do a two bar loop. Um, beats three and four are a bit easier, so that's always nice. So if we start off with beat one, I'll show you a nice little exercise to help you get this idea down. And then once we're comfortable with that, we'll add on beat two, and then look at beat three and four together. So um, without further ado, let's crack on. All right, so for beat one, we've got a bass on a hi hat, which is a 16th note. So you get that split second to breathe. Then after that, for the E, the and, and the uh, we're gonna get right, right for the E, left, left as ghost notes and the snare for the and, and then uh, it's gonna be two kicks. And then what we'll do, just to make it a little bit easier so we can round it off, we're gonna hit that big snare drum on beat two. So you get this. So you've got bass drum and hi-hat, right, right, left, left, kick, kick, snare. Now, if you want to start speeding that up a tiny bit, it's going to start sounding a bit more impressive the quicker it is. So I'll start off slow and then gradually increase the tempo a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna put a hi-hat on the end of beat two. That way we can sort of loop it round and play this little pattern on beat one, and then beat three, and then beat two and four, so it's gonna be snare, tick. All right, so it's gonna sound a little bit like this. And a bit quicker. Okay, so if we now add beat two to that, we've already got the big snare drum hit on beat two itself. For the E and the and, we'll be playing four 30 second notes. So for the E, it'd be right, left, and for the and, it'd be right, left on here. And then we're gonna have a lonely kick drum as our final 16th note, which is gonna take up all of, ah, of beat two. So that's gonna sound like this. So you get snare, right, left, right, left, kick. Now if we add that to beat one, you're gonna get this, boom, right, right, left, left, kick, kick, snare, right, left, right, left, kick. Something like that, so let's try it again. Boom, right, right, left, left, kick, kick, snare, right, left, right, left, kick. Now what I'll do is I'll play that a little bit faster but put little gaps in between. I could try looping it, but it'll probably fail. Let's give it a go. This isn't going to work if I try and play it faster, so I'll break it up a bit. Beat one and two, done. Okay, so we've got beats one and two down. That's the hard part out of the way. Beats three and four is fairly simple. We're going back to just 16th notes, so it's going to feel like it's going to slow down a little bit at this point. But what we've got, um, we've got two variations. So the first time round, we're going to play this. We're going to go right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left. Okay, so the first two notes on the hi-hat, we're going right, left, so that's three, E, and, uh. Okay, right, left, kick, right. For beat four, we're gonna slap the snare. Big kick, loud hi-hat-ish, and a little ghosty just to finish it off. So you get this. Now the other variation, the second time we go around to play it, we're not gonna do as much on beat four, we're just gonna hit that big snare on beat four and then a lonely hi-hat on the and of beat four. So it's gonna sound like this. Right, left, kick, right, left, tick. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll just sort of play uh, the first time ending, then the second time ending, first time, then second time ending, and I'll just bring the drums up in the mix so you can hear that a bit clearer. So here we go. 
First ending. Bit slower. Second ending. Bit easier this one. Bit quicker. And that's beat three and four done. Okay, so now we've got all the parts of our groove. All we've got to do now is stick it together. So what I'll do is I'll just sort of go through it really slowly. And I may cock this up because it's really hard to play slow. Um, but I'll play the first time ending and then the second time ending. And I'll just sort of like talk you through it. And then, um, then I'll shut up and then I'll start playing it at like a few different speeds. And then I think we're pretty much done. So I'll come and say goodbye. So here we go. This is the whole thing back to back. We've got boom, right, right, left, left, kick, kick, snare. Right, left, right, left, kick, right, left. Kick right, left, kick right, left. So that's the first time round. Second time round is boom, right, right, left, left, boom, boom, snare. Oh, I'll mix that one up. Boom, right, right, left, left, boom, boom, snare. Right, left, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right. Just got through with it. I'll play it, it's gonna sound better. Bit quicker. Ooh. You can probably tell I'm struggling a bit here. <laughs> Let's try this a bit quicker. Out to speed. Give that one a go, you might have fun with it. Okay guys, there it is. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was a challenge. I was struggling with it at the end now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if you want the sheet music for this particular lesson, you can go and download that from onlinejumma.com. If you want to come and find me on Facebook or Twitter, there's links in the description below. That's pretty much it. So uh, stay tuned, like and subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, that'd be great. And um, I'll see you next Thursday for some more fun free drumming ideas. All right, see you later.